The fundamental purpose of TR69 is to allow an ACS to interact with the CPE's instantiated data model, that is, the representation of its current state. The RPCs that form the basis of this include the get and set parameter values methods. The set parameter values RPC takes two arguments. The first is a parameter list, an array of our familiar parameter value struct, a collection of name value pairs. These list the parameters an ACS wants to change and the new values for those parameters. The second argument is parameter key, a value specified by the ACS to track changes in the CPE's data model. When set, the CPE must set the device.managementserver.parameter key to this value only if the set parameter values RPC was successful. If successful, the set parameter values response returns a single argument called status. If status is set to zero, it means that the parameter changes were confirmed and already applied. The ACS can expect that the CPE is in the new state. If the status is set to 1, it means that the CPE must take some steps to apply the changes, usually a reboot. If this is the case, the CPE must make the changes before the next time it contacts the ACS, so that the ACS can assume the CPE is in the new state by the time the next session begins. Set parameter values must occur atomistically. That is, either all of the parameter values are set, or none of them are, and a fault is returned. This makes it important to point out the failure modes of set parameter values. Unlike other RPCs, the set parameter values method returns a set parameter values fault element for each parameter that was attempted to be set, indicating whether it was due to an invalid parameter name, invalid parameter data type, or an invalid parameter value. Additionally, set parameter values must fail if it would put the CPE in an invalid configuration state, that is, something that would disable the device or is not supported by the device. The get parameter values RPC is the mirror of set parameter values and has a much simpler syntax. It takes one argument, parameter names, which is an array of strings containing both complete and partial data model paths, like those we discussed in get parameter names. The get parameter values response returns our familiar parameter list array with a set of parameter value struct elements similar to set parameter values, giving the parameter name and its value. If get parameter values contains a partial path and that path contains no objects or parameters, the get parameter values response must provide an empty parameter list and must not throw an error.